are so many favorite kinds to eat. Wanna have some fun? Here's a fountain of Slurpees, glowing icy cold and sweet. Now at participating 7-Eleven stores, you can get a free plastic video game trading cup with every purchase of a 16-ounce Slurpee. You can collect up to 16 different cups. Offer expires October 31st, 1982, or while supplies last. At 7-Eleven, fun is waiting for you. Alright, hey guys, and welcome back, as this week I wanted to take a look at a little piece of interesting toy history from the 80s, and that's some 7-Eleven video arcade cups. Now, of course, it's the 1980s, so that means Pac-Man fever and arcades are spreading like wildfire all across the nation, and Atari is dominating the home video game marketplace. So, of course, that meant that soon other companies had to get in on the act, and 7-Eleven was one of the first. They came out with their series of 7-Eleven video arcade cups, with 16 in total, with everything from Galaga to Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Centipede, with full-color images on the front and on the back with descriptions of your favorite games to collect. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven. All right, hey guys, so here are two of the 7-Eleven 1983 series arcade cups that I have in my collection. Um, they're really cool. I came across them both for unbelievably only a dollar each, and they're just so awesome because I'm a big video game uh, fan and collector, and um, I'm really glad to have these in my collection. So. Let's take a look at uh, the ones that I have here. Now this one, of course, we'll start off with because this is Donkey Kong. Um, and as you can see, it has the 7-Eleven logo, 1983 series Slurpee video cup. And check that out, the ink is a little bit faded, but you can see Mario and Donkey Kong, and of course Pauline, and Donkey Kong's throwing the barrels at him. Mario's got his finger up saying, Hey, wait a one a second to you. You ain't gonna kidnap my girlfriend. And then the cool thing about these is I don't know how well you're gonna be able to make this out, but check this out. They were actually able to get screenshots on the cup, like actual arcade screenshots of like Mario making it to the top and saving Pauline. Um, your high score, Donkey Kong, like the whole level, like this is really faded because, you know, it's 25 years old, but uh, it's really cool, and you can see that's a little faded too, but it says Nintendo of America, officially licensed product, and then it gives a little description about the game um, on the bottom, it says Donkey Kong video game, help, help, cries the beautiful maiden as Donkey Kong drags her to the top of the structural beams. Now Mario must risk life and limb dodging fireballs, beams, and barrels to rescue his love and score points. So that's really cool with the technology at the time they were able to capture that image. I really want you guys to be able to see that. That's just really neat. Really cool. Alright, so now let's take a look at uh, the second one that I got here. And of course, why I said I was taking a look at Donkey Kong first is because I also have Donkey Kong Jr. And this one survived in a lot better uh, shape. And you can see the color's a little different. This one has the blue 7-Eleven logo, and this has the black 7-Eleven logo here. And you can see the same logo, 1983 series video cup. Donkey Kong Jr. Look at that logo. That That's a really good font and the fact they were able to get that on here that that looks so good and then we have uh, of course classic Donkey Kong Jr. scene with Mario uh, having Donkey Kong locked up in the uh, in the crate and Jr. on his way up avoiding birds and climbing up vines to save his pa so let's check this out oh look at how much better that image came out here you see uh, Donkey Kong trapped up there, and uh, there's Junior right there. A little hard to make him out, a little kind of white blob. But you have the, the big trees, and the vines, and the birds, and the fruit, and the high score. That really, really came out great. I mean, that, that's amazing 
for how clear that looks for 1983 for that's an actual shot from a video game on a 7-Eleven cup. I mean, I am very impressed by that. So now here we go, Donkey Kong Jr. video game. Papa Donkey Kong is safely locked away and Mario is on guard. But Mario must beware, Junior is crafty and jumps in four directions. Will he reach the top and free Papa? Your skill is the key to Junior's success. Waka Waka. That's a terrible pun because you're collecting keys in like uh, most of the levels to free your pa. And I wouldn't say he's safely locked away. Like that's that's not cool. Mario's locking up animals. And then we got the 1982 Nintendo of America logo. Very cool. Very cool. These are really, really neat. And if you guys like these, you should definitely check out my uh, video that I also did on uh, their line of uh, like Marvel superhero cups they did. 7-Eleven did a lot of these back in the 80s. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these awesome little pieces of uh, Nintendo nostalgia and a uh, little interesting piece of 7-Eleven being a part of the toy industry as well with these really cool 1983 Slurpy video cups. Thanks for taking a look guys, and I'll see you back here next week. Take care. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 See you next time.